Hey everyone, today we are going to continue to explore NLTK package. You can find the link to the first part in the description below. Let's start by tagging parts of speech. According to Wikipedia, part of speech is a category of words that have similar grammatical properties. Commonly, part of speech are noun, verb, adjective, preposition, conjunction, and more. Tagging parts of speech, or POS tagging, is a task of labeling the words in your text according to their part of speech. So let's try it on our text. So let's import NLTK and from NLTK tokenize import word. Tokenize, token. We also need to download the average perceptron tagger module. So NLTK download perceptron tagger. Okay. Um, so now let's tokenize our text. So words in text is word tokenize text. Okay, now we can do POS tagging. So text POS tags is NLTK POS tag and our words. Okay, now let's just print the results. Yeah, so you get all the words with their POS. You can get a summary of all NLTK's POS tags and their meaning by NLDK download and then tag sets and NLDK dot help dot Re tag sets. Okay, so let's see. Um uh, story was tagged as um an N. So let's see what N N is. Um uh, so this is a noun. Um and Another example, so destroy is VB, which is, um, let's see, yeah, it's a verb. Okay. So moving on to chunking. Uh, chunking is a process of extracting phrases from unstructured text. It's important to know that chunks don't overlap, which means one instance of a word can be in only one chunk at a time. So let's try it on this piece of text. So um, let's tokenize our text. Words in text is as just like before. Let's just run this first. Okay. And let's get the POS tags and all the K. Um, words. Okay. 
Uh, we can now create a chunk grammar, which is a, com a combination of rules on how sentences would be chunked. We use regular expression for that. So grammar is and P and then determiner question mark adjective and noun. Okay, so our chunk is noun phrases that start with an optional determ determiner, can have any number of adjectives and end with a noun. Now let's create a chunk parser with this grammar. So uh, chunk parser is NLTK dot regex parser with the grammar. Okay, now let's try it on our text. So tree is chunk parser dot parse. Let's print the result. Okay, you can also see the visualization of the tree by doing tree dot draw. Okay. So as you can see, in this case, we have three noun phrases. The first phrase have a determiner and a noun, and the last one have an adjective and a noun. Okay, chinking is the process of removing a chunk from a chunk. In other words, while chunking creates chunks, chinking breaks up those chunks. So let's create a grammar to determine what you want to include and exclude in your chunks. So grammar is um, chunk of so because we have more than one rule we have to write them in separate lines the first rule has curly braces that face inward that determine what patterns you want to include in your chunks. In this case, we want to include everything. And the second rule um, has curly braces that face outward. It's used to determine what patterns you want to exclude in your chunks. In this case, we want to ex exclude determiners. Uh, so let's try uh, the chunk phrase. So chunk parser is NLDK dot regex regex parser and grammar. Let's try to parse our text. So tree is chunk parser dot parse. Let's print the result. So as you can see, all the determiners were excluded from the chunks. Okay, moving on to named entity recognition. 
Named entity recognition is the task of classifying named entities that mentioned in unstructured text into predefined categories such as person names, organization, location, medical codes, time expressions, quantities, percentage, and more. So let's extract named entities from uh, this text. I already tokenized it to words and got the POS tags. Um, so now before you can use entity recognition in NLTK, you need to download two modules. So the first one is NLTK download um, words and another one is max max and okay now let's create the tree so tree is nltk dot chan chunk and named entity chunk okay great uh see that barack is tagged as a person and united states as GPE, which means ge geopolitical entity. So we can also set the tagging to be binary if we just want to know what the named entities are, but not their kind. So tree is um, just like before, only we had binary true so as you can see it's only tagged with name entity without uh, further explanation so now let's extract the named entities with uh, let's just copy this okay uh, so the tree is the default tree and we just go over each node in the tree. If it has a label, we want to print um, the label with the word. So let's see the results. Okay, great. So that was all for today's video. Thanks for watching.